Hello and welcome to the Ed Hoddle Show presented by Buffalo Wild Wings. I'm Greg Royce, showing with Stevenson head football coach Ed Hoddle. And coach, how you were on the road for the third straight Saturday last week. Um, you went up to Kings and you were able to come away with a 38-17 win, uh, your third straight road victory. Uh, just kind of take us through the game and how it evolved. Um, definitely a slow start, you know, you know, from our perspective. It was um, a situation where I, I, I think being on the road for three straight weeks took a little bit of a toll on us. And we talked to the guys, uh, obviously, post-game. That's not an excuse. You know, we right. want to come out of the locker room uh, with our best football and, and, and play that way. And it took us a little while to get rolling, um, you know, and, and they responded. You know, it was, it was a homecoming game for, for those guys, and they were certainly excited to be playing. And, um, but fortunately for us, you, you know, we made plays when we needed to make plays, and, yep. and we were able to come out with a win. Yeah, you were able to, um, you know, go in halftime up. Um, and one of the things that I've noticed the last couple of weeks is you've been able to score right before the half and then just come out at the start of the third quarter. You know, usually because you have the ball and start again. So you're scoring on both sides of the half, and obviously that's huge when you're trying to build a lead or trying to maintain a lead. Absolutely, and, and, and looking at our two-minute drives in each of the last closing minutes of the first half, it, it, that's significant, and I think that's you know, indicative of what we do in practice. You know, we practice two minutes you know, at least yeah. twice a week, and um, you know, the guys taking the coaching from practice to the field. And I think it's also a byproduct of some of the experience that we have on the field as well. Yeah. Um, I also think that you know, the defense plays a big part of that. And right. we talked about that Monday. Um, when we do do two minutes, it's, it's good v. good in practice. It's yeah. ones versus ones, and it's very up-tempo. It's very fast. And mm -hmm. I think that allows us to be a little bit more effective in that two-minute offense. Yeah, absolutely. That preparation playing against such a stout defense obviously helps when you're trying to move the ball. Mm -hmm. um, and certainly the other thing the offense on Saturday is, um, you know, we're able to, su to sustain some very long drives. I, mean, I know you had a drive in the fourth quarter that you were down on their eight, were able to come back. But they got within 28-17, sustained a long drive, four or five minute drive. And that was really, that and uh, Ashton Lesky's forced fumble were kind of the two backbreakers in that game. Absolutely. And, and again, we talked about that on Monday where, you know, coming out and, and going on a 92 play, five or six minute drive there in the fourth quarter, it, it is a big momentum swing. It's, it's really kind of putting a stamp on, on the game, so to speak. And, um, you know, we've been able to sustain some drives this year, which is exciting and um, something that we're going to have to continue as right. we move deeper into league play. Yeah, absolutely. And the other thing that that does is obviously allows your defense to get some rest so they're not on the field when the other team's out there for five, six minutes at a time. Absolutely. You, you know, controlling the, the time of possession is big in, in college football from the perspective of you, know, you are resting players. Right. You know, defense gets a chance to get to the sideline, get themselves adjusted, you know, clean up anything that needs to be cleaned up and, you know, and, and take a little bit of time and, and catch your breath a little bit. So, you know, the ability to sustain drives and is a, is a big key. It's, you know, it's one of, our, one of our weekly goals is to go out and be able to sustain multiple drives throughout the day. Yeah, and speaking of time of possession, I believe it was about 35 minutes, and you've had the lead in time of possession all four games so far this year. Absolutely, you know it's uh, it, it's it's difficult to score touchdowns without the football. That's for sure. Yeah, absolutely. Um, now switching gears, after three weeks on the road, you finally get to be home this week. Um, another tough opponent coming to Mustang Stadium in Delaware Valley. Uh, obviously, a tough league game. You know they've been kind of the standard in the league the last few years. Talk about that game and what you hope to accomplish. Um, for us, uh, you know, again, it's it's very simple. It's it's. You know, building through the week to be the best team that we can be on Saturday and um, bringing our best football. You know, for us, I think it's really exciting to be back at home after almost a month, yeah. um, you know, and not have to get on a bus on a Friday and, and, and travel and stay in a hotel yeah. and, um, you know, sleeping in your own bed. It's going to be important for us on Friday night. Yeah. And, oh, yeah. um, you know, just to get back in front of the home crowd and, you know, be back in front of our students. And, and we're hoping for, you know, a great crowd Saturday, yeah. one that's, uh, one that's loud and, 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 you know, creates that home field advantage we've come accustomed to. Yeah. Well, I'm sure that our fans will be ready to go on Saturday, and um, best of luck. Thank you very much, Greg. All right. For Ed Hoddle, I'm Greg Royce. This has been the Ed Hoddle Show.